Tiffany. Um, I'm chef and owner of Farm Girl. Jadi before I opened Farm Girl, um, I was living in New York. That's where I did my culinary education over there. And I spent a year working at some Michelin star restaurants as well, um, like Jean George, Danielle. Um, and I spent most of my time at Anissa. And Anissa was a one Michelin star restaurant. And so I'm classically French trained um, in terms of my cooking style, but what I love to do most is home cooking. And so this is what um, I do best. And American cuisine, new American cuisine is really what I enjoy the most. And I use my French um, training and techniques with the food that I cook. So uh, with Farm Girl, this is what I basically cook at home. So. Um, it's food that my family likes to eat, all the recipes that I have created throughout my time living in the States. And coming back here, I just found that there was nothing like it. And so I decided to make Farm Girl. So Farm Girl actually came about um, on accident. I was a stay-at-home mom uh, at the time, and I decided to make cinnamon rolls at first. And once I started doing that, friends and family started to order from me. And so I decided, okay, let's do something about this. So cinnamon rolls first, then sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches, because I couldn't find anything like that here. Um, a lot of the breakfast stuff that I found was Australian and not really American. And so that's how it started. Um, and I decided to open my first um, shop in November of 2019. The products that I make are really what I like to eat. Um, and because my husband is American, so he can't really eat uh, Indonesian food because it's too spicy. So that's why a lot of our menu is based on what he can eat and what he enjoys eating as well and we make everything from scratch, everything from the bread, the buns, uh, even all the sauces are homemade. We make everything small batch, so everything is fresh. Um, we work with lots of actually farmers from, you know, close by, so outside of Jakarta, like Puncak, Bandung, and we like to make sure that whoever we work with really enjoys um, doing what they do too, so we like to help small businesses, uh, and of course women-led businesses as well um, and we really pride ourselves in using great ingredients, fresh ingredients um, and I think you can really taste it in our food. Okay. Uh, with Farm Girl, actually we do our marketing in a different way. Um, it actually grew organically. We didn't do any of those like paid influencers or anything like that. So I really base it on um, just word of mouth and through friends, through family, and actually I suppose the food speaks for itself. So um, I consider myself like a repat because I left Indonesia at a very young age, actually at six years old, and I only just got back in 2017. So I'm not really familiar with how um, everybody works here, like the way that they market, the way that they produce their things. So I did everything just based on how I wanted to do it. And so everything just grew organically on its own. Um, we basically just use Instagram as most of our marketing um, platform and uh, just really through word of mouth. Uh, okay, so we have a pretty big menu for a very small place, um, but I guess we're best known for our egg sandwiches, which is um, our best seller is called the TCSB, which is basically um, fluffy scrambled eggs, bacon, and pork sausage. So all of our products, um, like I said, are made in small batch, so even um, our pork sausage, bacon, our beef patties are made with a supplier that we work closely with. Um, and we do other things like salads, sandwiches, and we even do seasonal items. Like right now it's autumn, so we have a Thanksgiving leftover sandwich, which is amazing. It's turkey, 
um, sweet potatoes, cranberry sauce, and all the fixings in one sandwich. Um, okay, Jadi, uh, actually when I first opened Farm Girl during the interview process, um, I didn't think that I would just hire women. Jadi, it came on its own. So because I like to cook in the kitchen every single day, um, I just didn't want to work with men. <laughs> not, not because I don't like men, obviously not. Uh, tapi it's just I felt more comfortable, I think, just working with women and Suddenly, it came about that I hired only girls, and um, it kind of just happened on its own. And so through there, um, I just felt like, you know, women can do all things that men can and better, I feel. Uh, I know that there's a lot of drama that comes with working with only women, but it also creates a really unique relationship. Um, with having just women and then you know the relationship that we have is very unique we become very close um, we get to know about everyone's you know personalities their personal issues at home or whatever you know so we create this kind of sisterhood and family um, at farm girl so i think that was pretty special for me When I was in the States, I'd fe I feel like at the time, in 2011, um, there was more acceptance in women working in the kitchen. I think especially now, which is really great. Uh, when I was working there in the States, I feel like definitely there was a little bit of gender-based discrimination when I was working, especially in French restaurants, uh, which is a really male-dominated um, area and of course being a chef I think it's still a male dominated industry itself but I think that now um, it's getting much better you know when it comes to women being chefs they're definitely more regarded um, there's it's more popular as well um, but I'd say that yes there was discrimination at the time and more so because I'm Chinese uh, over there, you know, in the States, so people sometimes didn't take me seriously. Um, they push me around, um, and you know, for me, it's not about that. I really love uh, working in the kitchen. I love the pressure, and I have the passion for it, so I didn't even think of that as a uh, hindrance, I guess. It just pushed me further and made me want to work harder um, there. <music> I think that term is uh, should be Manaya. <laughs> I think it's it's proper, you know. I think women from from dari dulu, I mean, from the ages, have always been working in the kitchen. Uh, I just feel that because of discrimination and things like that, they were just never shown. Um, but you know, women have always cooked for families. You know, they're, they're always the ones making all the food, preparing everything, you know, for their children, for their husbands, for their family. So I feel like it should be a term that should be thrown around and made popular and well, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe YouTube channel Two Rubber Karatnya Dua.